Welcome to the fourth part of the tutorial series and in this part I will explain how a very simple game loop works now. So when we called the uh, GLW create window function what we got was we got two buffers and you can think of a buffer as a screen or or as an array of pixel colors. So we have two different screen buffers the front buffer and the back buffer. Now, at any given time, one of those buffers or screens is being displayed. And the other one, so the one not being displayed, that's the one we are currently working on. So we are always doing two things on, a, on such a buffer. First, we call the glclear function. So, uh, with uh, with two things, so gl color buffer bit and gl depth buffer bit, which means we want to uh, so gl color buffer bit says that we want to clear the pixel colors and set them them to well in our case to black. Um, there is a function called gl clear color, with which we can set the color to which gl clear will uh, reset the color in the buffer but the default is black and then we also do gl depth buffer bit which will clear uh, the depth yeah. well yeah which will uh, reset all of the of the depth buffers i guess so very simple um then we well we do all of our drawing and when we so when we clear the screen and called uh, GL draw arrays, which we won't do just yet. We can call, in our case, GLFW swap buffers, which will, which will uh, take our buffer, so the only one we were working on, and, and make it the front buffer, so the buffer being, being displayed. And then it will take the buffer that was being displayed and make it get the back buffer so we can again clear the screen and draw on it. And, and that basically happens like thousands of, well, not thousands, well in our case maybe thousands since the time of seconds. So that, so that is actually our FPS, the speed at which we can, can swap the buffers. So well, yeah, the speed at which we can, can clear a buffer, draw on it and swap it. Now let's create a render system class. So let's actually take this running. So line running equals equals estimation mark. Okay. And you can put this actually before before uh, all of our drawing code. And then let's add a new file and name it. Oh yeah, by the way. Uh, so if you run this now. You just get a black screen and uh, in your well in your uh, get gear manager for now or actually never mind i'll show it later um so create your game and so create a new class and you can name it render system and this will be again a single thing class so simply name it class render system and again it will have the constructor and the structure will be private and public and it will have static static point get render system and static void so sorry this will be render system act and void this destroy render system and don't forget the parentheses and our destructor and constructor will be render system and 
Oops, oh, there it is. Okay, let's well, implement them. So our, our constructor and destructor for now will, will have nothing in them for now. Okay, and now our static methods, so render system, that render system, and just get render system. This will have the, the, uh, the same implementation, so static render system pointer to render system equals no. If render system equals now render system render system equals new render system and and then uh, let's return render system and to destroy it simply do void void render system destroy render system render system render system equals get render system and yeah delete Under system. And, and don't forget the add sign. Okay. Now create a new public method and name this void render for now it will have no arguments. And now it's implemented. So void render system. System render and so inside of this, we will do all of our rendering. So, we will call first off the shell clear method, the shell clear function. So, shell clear, oh, wait, and don't forget to include, of course, shell w so include shell app slash shell app. So then, shell clear, shell color buffer bit, and of course, shell dev buffer bit. And then, of course, swap buffers, shell w swap buffers. And then let's also create our our window inside of this GLF window pointer to underscore window. Now we can initialize this variable in our yeah, with our constructor. So simply do window GLF get current context. And swap buffers window. And the tone function, uh, GL clear color. Let's call this in our, uh, in our if statement and make it inner system. So GL clear color. And uh, normally the RGB values range from zero, from zero to 255, but in OpenGL they range from zero to uh, to one. So let's just set it to white so everything must be at full intensity. So 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 
create our render systems for the Visual Game Manager class. And then let's create, so first off, let's include our render system. So include render system dot h. The system and then let's create a pointer to it so uh, render system mm -hmm. and render system and we can initialize this in our, in our list of course so yeah so for now let's just do render system Render system, get render system, don't forget the add sign, I like this. Okay, so now we can get rid of this code. Simply do render system, render, and we also now must destroy our render system. So this will be the first thing we do. So once we get our, uh, oh, we can actually do this in the destructor, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, so simply do under system. So yeah, simply do delete, no, sorry. Um, I simply do render system, just for under system, simple. And then you run this now, we get a white screen. Now something is happening. I forgot something, so again, in your under system on the lot of file, you forgot to call shell of all events. Sorry. And when it runs now, everything is pretty fine. We get a white screen, and we can close it. Uh, if we change these colors, for instance, if we put the green to zero, you'll get a yellow color, or oh, purple, sorry, yeah, purple color. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it for now at white. So simple video today, tomorrow we will do something complex. Okay, uh, yeah, see you then, bye.